I've noticed that sometimes I hate if what you're tried out. I possess the huh? Uh I'm glad at least I shall do what I Dohalim's fighting style is uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. You flatter me, but my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? No, I do that to sharpen my senses. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Still, it's a risk. Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> I just noticed none of you other Danans have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Danan slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renin doctor who's sympathetic to our kind, and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. around here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. That's mountain hiking for you. It can be pretty tough if you're not used to these sorts of trails. I take it you're comfortable with... Let's see what you've got. Permanent treasure! Take this! It's a duel of the New melody. The enemy wields arts too. You'll soon see about that. The mock. 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 The should come in handy when crafting weapons. I'm 
amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elderman and Sia Guard. So, in a way, using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either. But I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kalzalek even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the crown contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part. Spare us the pity party. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. <laughs> This sure is one rugged road. Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort. Ah. For you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, somehow that someone always ends up being a Danon. Well, true enough. Ideally, in a perfect world, I think it's only fair that the ones who need it should be the ones to perform the work. However, when doing so could be dangerous like it is here, there are many who would prefer that it be others who risk their lives in their stead. So, what you're saying is that people will just put up with the inconvenience until someone else comes along to fix it for them? Indeed. Much like the Danans in our group do so now. As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... <sighs> what are you making that face for? <sighs> More Danon ruins here too, I see. What were people even thinking back then? Trying to build anything around here. But maybe they just had that much time and energy on their hands. Looks like we won. 
sure I've built up a sweat with this hike. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here, quite literally. So Mahog Sar's just up ahead then? <laughs> Indeed. If you look, across this mountain is the Lord's Keep. What's the... Hey, what do you say we fight that shining man? Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. Which in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it... What do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. You hear that, Law? 
What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already. I need a break, so we're taking one. <sighs> I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... for you. For me? Why? all I desire. Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? Reload! Take this! Back to the way! Back in the shadows! It's still thy mystic virtue! Back to the fray! Back to the fray! Back to the fray! Back to the fray! Who the hell are you? <clears throat> Bastard! This guy's not normal! Speed is unbelievable. You mean he even surpasses a lord? Here I come! One more time! Here, let me help. Resonate the earth! Stalagmite! Bring up! Damn it! Bring it! Freezing storm! This will come in handy! Take this! Hard magic is there! Our next trick coming through! Resonate the earth! Get on the earth! Take this! Enjoy! Try to wait! Thank you. Dance in the wind! Air thrust! Here, let me help! Here. Okay, here I go! Resonate with the earth! Take this! Cyan instant! Die! Breaking storm! Enjoy! I'll heal you all! Take this! Die! Air thrust! You're mine! Healing storm! Your helping me has become a path. Just for the good of all of us. Is it now? Breath! Healing storm! Glacial Spear! Pierce Evil! I can heal myself, thank you! You say it is very well my best! It'll take a bit to get you! Here's a healing arm! I'm still alive! Stay away from my friends! 
from beyond. Infusing his vanquished soul with life. Resuscitation. Here I come. Here. Show thy mystic You're glory. Take the wind. You're Take this. Enjoy. Enjoy. Don't suffer in silence. Here comes. 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 Did you just heal me? That you've got. Very well, then die. Wake up, please! Alfin? Shion! Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad? That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're...
った Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahagsar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey. Mm. Something wrong? Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, uh, etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. That's not being frank, that's being an... and... forget it! Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. What do you want us to do? We were slaves. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up. I wasn't that offended by what you said, man. Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. Yeah, no, I'll pass. If you say so, how about you, Law? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? How are you holding up after that last fight? I'm fine, really. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I'm not here just to stand around and- I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh... I can't feel pain, but you still can, can't you? <sighs> look, I appreciate you're trying to look out for me, but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. I just... Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahagsar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. 
Yeah. This doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> This is horrible. Is there truly no one here? <laughs>